The growing strength of China's military forces is convincingly displayed by its expanding fleet of aircraft carriers. As of mid-2025, China has two active diesel-powered aircraft carriers, the Kuznetsov class Liaoning, which stretches just under 1,000 feet in length and 230 feet wide, and can launch around 24 J-15 fighter jets. The Type 001 is Shandang is a little shorter but also a bit wider, and can carry about 36 J-15 jets total. However, there is a third carrier, the apparently unsinkable Fujian. This Type 003 carrier is larger than its predecessors, measuring 1,000 feet long and 246 feet wide, with the capacity to hold up to 40 fighter jets. This new addition to China's fleet has undergone sea trials since 2023 and is expected to be commissioned in late 2025. As China advances its naval capabilities with the introduction of a third aircraft carrier, global military dynamics shift, prompting strategic recalibrations by the United States and its allies to maintain maritime dominance and regional stability. China's expanding fleet of aircraft carriers has become a focal point in global military discussions. As of mid-2025, China operates two diesel-powered carriers, the Kuznetsov Liaoning and the Type 001 is Shandong, with capacities of 24 and 36 J-15 fighter jets, respectively. A third, more significant addition, the Fujian, is set to join the fleet. This new Type 003 carrier, undergoing sea trials since 2023, can hold up to 40 jets and is expected to enter service by the end of 2025. China's naval strength is reflected in its strategic deployments and advancements in aircraft carrier technology. The Shandong, one of China's active carriers, recently made headlines by launching fighter jets 240 times in a single week in the Philippine Sea. This demonstration of capability was closely monitored by Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force. The Shandong has flown nearly 10,000 sorties since its commissioning in 2019, underscoring its operational efficiency. Such developments are a cause for concern among U.S. forces and allies, given the implications for regional security. Adding to the strategic complexity, satellite images in late July 2025 revealed the construction of a new naval base near the South China Sea. The Yulin Naval Base is expected to support China's naval expansions further, including its fleet of aircraft carriers. Concurrently, the Yuchi Naval Base is undergoing enhancements with the addition of new piers. These infrastructural developments signify China's commitment to bolstering its naval capabilities. The operational efficiency of China's aircraft carriers can be attributed to their launch systems. The Liaoning and Shandong utilize a ramp system known as Stobar Short Takeoff but Arrested Recovery, which assists aircraft in taking off from short runways. In contrast, the newest carrier, the Fujian, employs the Katobar Catapult Assisted Takeoff but Arrested Recovery system, which uses electromagnetic catapults to launch larger aircraft. This advancement marks a significant leap in Chinese naval technology. The expansion of China's carrier fleet has significant implications for global naval dynamics. The ability to project power beyond its coastal waters, as demonstrated by the recent Pacific Ocean exercises, marks a shift in China's naval strategy. This expansion aligns with broader geopolitical ambitions, challenging U.S. naval supremacy in critical regions. By comparison, the United States Navy boasts the highest number of carriers, with 11 worldwide. Both classes, the nearly 1,100-foot-long 1 and 252-foot-wide Nimitz, and the over 1,100-foot-long 1 and 255-foot-wide Gerald or Ford, can each hold and launch anywhere from 60 to 75 fighter jets, including the F-A-18 Super Hornet and F-35C Lightning II. While the U.S. Navy's carriers are stationed at various points around the globe, China's carriers are typically based near its coast, but in June of 2025, both the Liaoning and Shandong navigated into the Pacific Ocean for military exercises, marking the first time the country's navy moved into the area. While the curious news of China's aircraft carrier located in middle of the desert has turned some heads, it's the country's second active carrier, the Shandong, that made serious headlines in July of 2025 when it launched fighter jets a total of 240 times in one week. The launches took place in the Philippine Sea, with the American allied Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force or JMSDF, keeping a close watch nearby. Japan's Joint Staff Office, or JSO, kept track of the Shandong's movements in the area with the help of three Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force destroyers. Days later, Chinese outlets revealed that the Shandong had flown almost 10,000 aircraft missions, 
known as Sorties, since the carrier was commissioned in 2019. As a result of the Shandong's takeoff and landing support, China's J-15 fighter jet had reached top speeds and was becoming more efficient during missions. While these events have undoubtedly been concerning for U.S. forces and allies, the situation has grown even more intense. In late July of 2025, satellite photos showed construction of a naval base near the South China Sea. Reports indicate that the new Yulin naval base will provide ongoing support for not only the Chinese Navy but its fleet of aircraft carriers as well. Photos also revealed that the Yuqi naval base is seeing some construction activity as well, with four new piers being added. Understanding how China's aircraft carriers achieve their impressive operational milestones means first looking at the key differences in launch systems compared to American carriers. Both the Liaoning and Shandong utilize an older ramp system for launching jet fighters and other aircraft. Also called Stobar short takeoff but arrested recovery, the ramp helps planes get into the air after hurtling down a short runway. But China's newest carrier, the Fujian, features a more modern system known as Catapult Assisted Takeoff but Arrested Recovery or Catobar. This system uses electromagnet catapults to launch larger aircraft, making it the most advanced carrier in the Chinese fleet. It even surpasses the US Navy's Nimitz class in launch technology, which still relies on a steam-powered catapult system. For the past month Chinese aircraft carrier strike groups have been operating further from home shores and in greater strength than ever before, testing state-of-the-art technology and sending a message they are a force to be reckoned with. The growing strength of China's military forces is convincingly displayed by its expanding fleet of aircraft carriers. Since early May, a People's Liberation Army Navy flotilla led by the carrier Shandong has conducted exercises north of the Philippines, its newest carrier, the soon-to-be commissioned Fujian, has been on sea trials in disputed waters west of the Korean Peninsula, and its oldest carrier, the Liaoning has led exercises in the Pacific waters of Japan's exclusive economic zone. During the drills the Fujian for the first time conducted aircraft takeoff and landing operations at sea using its advanced electromagnetic catapult system, 